What's up everybody, Dazed here, back with another Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 video, and today we are testing out Super Saiyan God against Super Saiyan Blue. Now, a lot of people do think that Super Saiyan God is the best transformation out right now. I've got people in my comments in my last Super Saiyan God video saying that Super Saiyan Blue is better, so we're going to put it to the test. We're going to look at every aspect of both of these, their pros, their cons, you know, the damage output, and just generally how they work. One big thing that people have a complaint about with Super Saiyan God is the fact that you can't do a lot of the cancels, but I'm here to tell you right now that there is hope for that, and there are still plenty of cancels to do, and there even is a Step Vanish cancel that I know of. Maybe there's more, but I at least know of one, so do make sure you stick around to the end, and you will be able to find out all of that, and then by the end, I will tell you what I think is the best, and uh, let me know what you guys think is the best down below once you've watched the whole video because I always like to hear what people got to say give me your input down below and we'll get into this right now the first thing we got to do is look at both the transformations three three key bars to get into Super Saiyan God we know what it does it boosts our normal attack a whole lot you can check out my last video on Super Saiyan God all about that I will leave a link in the description but basically you can get anywhere from 40 to 82 percent increase in damage Check out that video and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. And uh, yeah, there's there's not too many cons to it. One good thing is we gain a lot of key with our basic attack. Now let's look at Super Saiyan Blue. Five bars of key just to activate it. That's not necessarily a bad thing. It will take longer to get it activated. Not a deal breaker though. Gives a massive power up 25% across the board but will gra uh, gradually drain your key. Which does kind of suck. Still not a deal breaker because we do have super souls to deal with that. We also take 10% extra damage with this transformation. And our basic attack only kind of nullifies the key drain we get. So a little bit of cons right there. Right now what you're seeing is a bunch of super souls. And in case anybody is wondering what super souls to use. These are some of the ones when I was looking through all my super souls that I would pick for Super Saiyan God. Most of these ones in the beginning are mainly just for that. You could obviously use them on Super Saiyan Blue, uh, but with that we generally want something that is going to activate key auto recovery. I'm not saying you have to, but generally most people are going to have something along those lines. Now for Super Saiyan God, we are not limited like that. That is another pro in the Super Saiyan God column because we gain back a ton of key with our basic attack. With Super Saiyan Blue, man, you, you better have on Burst Charge, or you better have on some kind of key auto recovery Super Soul. Otherwise, you're not going to stay in the transformation too long. Your build will obviously affect this too. If you're somebody running 10 bars of key, maybe the key drain is not as bad for you. But if you're only running like 5 bars of key, man, you are very limited to what you can do with Super Saiyan Blue. Because you won't be able to run a lot of ultimates. Because you will always be under five, 5 bars of key, especially if you don't have an auto recovery uh, super soul for the key. So that is something to keep in mind. You will need a lot more key and your build has to be built around that. What I use right here is my balance build. I'll leave a link in the description for that one too. I am testing all this stuff on my balance build and I did take off super souls because I want to make everything fair and even. Right now we're going to test out some super attacks and then some ultimate attacks to see what the difference is. We're going with Super God Fist and we are going with Focus Flash for the super attacks. And as you're going to see, we're doing okay damage. It's not the best. It's definitely not the worst either. But it really shouldn't be a surprise to you because we don't get an increase in that damage. That Super Saiyan Blue is totally going to outdo it. Over 500 more on the Super God Fist and... Really, it's kind of embarrassing. Almost 1,500 more when it comes to Focus Flash. Let's take a look at the ultimates real quick, though. We're going to start off with Meteor Explosion. I love the way this move looks. I know most of you probably love the way this move looks, too. Um, we're getting just under 10,000 damage. Not bad. That's really not bad, because when you consider PvP, usually you're not pulling off an ultimate until you've broke them, and you've already drained their health by then, and it will kill them. Now we have 14,000 damage on that godly display. Still not bad, but it's not going to be enough to beat out Super Saiyan Blue. Our Meteor Explosion is going to do a little bit more, not a whole lot more, about 2,000 more, which 
isn't really that much when it comes to the ultimate. Our godly display is also going to do a little bit more but really not that much more because we have that gradual key drain so only a couple thousand more on that so in this aspect super saiyan blue absolutely takes it um it it definitely does more damage but just because it does more damage on the super attacks doesn't mean as a whole it is a better transformation we got to look at everything we got to look at our basic attack we've got to look at our basic attack linking into supers linking into ultimates and then Ultimately, too, we need to know what is up with the cancels. Like I said, make sure you stick around because we will be going over that and it will surprise you what you can do with Super Saiyan God. So right here, we're just going to test out a full square combo. And then we're going to go straight into Burst Kamehameha, both stages of it, with Super Saiyan God 10,406. Not bad. Not bad, all things considered. Same thing with Super Saiyan Blue. Full square combo. And then we're going to go right into that Burst Kamehameha, both stages of it, because we want to make things fair. And this is the way to even it up. Just under 10,000, so not much of a difference. And with doing the basic attack and the Key Blast, we are keeping it even because we know Super Saiyan Blue has the edge in Key Blast, and we know Super Saiyan God has the edge in basic attack. Now we're going to try out a triangle combo. You know, we just want to see the difference in the basic attack. 6,688. Now let's try it with Super Saiyan Blue. 5,259. So a big difference when it does come to the basic attack. Just like we saw the big difference with the Key Blast and the Strike Supers, we have that with the basic attack. Me personally, I do a lot more basic attack than I do, you know, Key Blast and all when I'm not farming things. Now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to add in the Key Blast. We're going to even it out. 10,800 for Super Saiyan God. Now let's see what Super Saiyan Blue can do. And we're going to be right around the same area, you know? Only 400 more. Only 400 more on Super Saiyan God. I would say so far they are both pretty even. We're going to test out the 5 square, 3 triangle combo. I love this combo into Burst Kamehameha. It shouldn't be a surprise to you. They will be somewhat similar. One thing I did think I forgot to mention is that we do have a little bit of a stamina regen increase on Super Saiyan Blue. It is somewhat noticeable, but it's only a little, I think it's like a half second faster on the stamina regen. So keep that in mind. Now it's time to test out the ultimates in a combo, but not just the ultimates. We're going to do Comet Strike first. I love this move. I hope all of you have unlocked this because... It allows you to go straight into an ultimate afterwards. You won't be able to go into every ultimate, but we can definitely go into Meteor Explosion, man. And they go so good together. So on Super Saiyan God, just under 20,000. Now on Super Saiyan Blue, I did make a mistake right here. As you can see, I have 7 bars of key, but it's not draining right now because I forgot to turn that off in the settings. And if I were to actually try this move on this setup without the key auto recovery super soul i wouldn't actually be able to do it because it drains just past the five bars i actually need to pull off meteor explosion which kind of sucks but it is what it is so now what we got to do is look at the cancels and i'm only going to do a little bit with super saiyan blue if you want to see more i will leave a link down below for my male saiyan combo guide because i go over all the cancels extensively in there so check that out if you want to but it's a lot smoother. When it comes to Super Saiyan Blue, we can do the Step Vanish cancels, we can do the Key Blast cancels, we can do the Chase Downs. We have all the options available to us. With Super Saiyan God, it's a little bit different, but we still have some good options left. You're going to see that right here. We're going to start off with just some of the regular Chase Down ones, um, because they are still there for us to do. This is a square into the triangle combo, and as you can see, we have enough time to actually catch up to our opponent. You would think we wouldn't, because you are kind of stuck there for a couple seconds, or almost a couple seconds. It seems like a couple seconds. But I do put on guard from the start, that way they recover as fast as possible. Same thing, we still have key blast cancels like you just saw right there. I didn't get to them fast enough, but you will see that in a second. Uh, you can get to them, so we still have cancels available. And, you know... While not as smooth, while not as easy, they still are there. Now, I'm sure some of you are still wondering, where is that Step Vanish cancel? Because I did tell you there was one in here, and you will see that in a minute. So, so far, guys, for me, I've got the edge for Super Saiyan God. Um, 
we don't lose key. In fact, we gain back a lot as we're fighting. We don't take extra damage, which is good. When it comes to doing combos and linking supers into them, it's actually very similar across the board. They both get a speed increase. I forgot to talk about that, but both transformations get a speed increase. We can activate this sooner. Um, there's a lot more pros in my opinion. Now, that's not to say that there's anything wrong with Super Saiyan Blue. They are practically... I, I don't want to say identical, but we can do a lot of the same things. Right here, you're going to see that Step Vanish cancel. You can do it after the Square Triangle Triangle. Once you do that second hit, you can Step Vanish in that one, and I was so happy to find that combo. Because I really didn't think there was any of those left in the game. So, there is still that Step Vanish cancel. There still is Key Blast cancels. You can still do the Chase Down cancels also. Now, for those of you that are still watching this video, because I know not everybody watches to the end, let me know down below, after seeing all this, after hearing all the details, which one do you think is better? It will come down to preference, because, you know, people like different things. I do like the look of both of them. They're both really nice-looking transformations. But I do give the edge to Super Saiyan God. I think especially when it comes to something like PvP, even though I don't do it, I do understand how the PvP system works. Um, I do give the edge to Super Saiyan Blue because we don't lose our, our stamina, or we don't lose our key, and we won't come out of Super Saiyan God. That is another thing. Like, we're, our key is not going to drain down to where we're going to come out of it, like will happen in Super Saiyan Blue if you don't manage your key good enough. So that is my opinion. I think Super Saiyan God wins it. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. And yeah, that's going to wrap this video up. If you do like the content I'm putting out, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.